instead of you know just showing, saying echo user get address, let's say I just want to echo the user. Now normally this doesn't work. Object could not be converted to string. However, we can take advantage of PHP's type system and implement a special method called toString. I'm going to create a public function called toString and it's going to echo first name lives first name space last name lives at address ah okay so again this is a magic method so we need to use the to string property and the reason that we're just getting lives at is because these are actually private or protected variables so we have to go this first name this last name lives at this address so now I get John Lebensold lives at Eiffel Tower I wish so this is a great way of just creating a lot of functionality in your class without actually having to write a lot of code. So what I want to do now is I want to abstract this concept. Let's say I have a user object and I've got a phone object. Okay? So this whole public function underscore underscore call stuff, you'll notice that there isn't a single line of user specific code in here. And so you could argue that it's not the user's object, user object's responsibility to know anything about calling anonymous functions. So we're going to create a new class, and it's going to be an abstract class. And I'm going to call it, I'm just creating a new file here, I'm going to call it model abstract. So I'm going to say class, or abstract class. I'm going to explain what an abstract class is in a second. Model abstract and the namespace for this class is going to be let's see it's going to be com killer php models and i'm going to save this as model abstract.php so you can see that it's very easy for you to just kind of move code around and flexibly change your application without being bound to, you know, oh, you know, is this file in this folder or that folder or what have you. You just create your namespaces and then you can just kind of build up your classes as you see fit. So I'm going to go back to the user class here and instead of having this call function here, I'm just going to select it. I'm going to cut it, save, and then I'm going to paste it in the abstract class. And then lastly, in here, under user, I'm just going to say class user extends model abstract. Now if everything works, if I refresh this, nothing should happen. Oh, okay. I'm getting a parser error. And it's because I forgot a semicolon. So I'll save that again. Good. So our user class now is 15 lines of code and it's nice and it's slim and we're doing everything involving method hiding we've got exceptions that are thrown and you could argue that this is a business rule you know that we're basically saying that you know what this class when I do two string we're dealing with uh, we're basically going to echo the first name and the last name and the address um, and you could imagine that email would be the same thing as well so just like I have a user class here we could also create a group object and if we wanted the group object to have the same kind of dynamic assignment of variables, it would just be inheriting from model abstract. So I'm going to create a new file here. I'm going to start with the PHP tag. And I'll have to define my namespace. In this case, it's going to be com killer PHP models. Class will be group. And it will extend model abstract. Now the reason it's a abstract class, I just I'm gonna have to save this. I'll just call this group.php. Now the reason it's called abstract and that it's an abstract class is that 
I can't actually instantiate model abstract directly. I can't just create a new model abstract object. I have to inherit from it. And that makes a lot of sense because abstract, you know, model abstract, it doesn't actually do anything except for get and set magic methods. Get and set using the, the call magic method. So now in my group.php file, I'm going to create a protected variable called users. And I'm going to create a protected variable called name. And let's say we've got a protected variable called access level. Now in my index.php file, just like I've created this user, I'll just create user John. Just like I've created this user and his name is John, I could also create a new group. So I could say group equals, or actually let's say this is an admin group, equals new models group. And then admin group set name equals administrators. And then I should be able to say admin group Let's go back to group here, set users, and I should be able to pass in the user John. Now this is all fine and dandy, but I would want to be able to set a whole bunch of users, right? Because we want to build relationships between these two classes. Oh, and we also want to set the access level, right? Let's say uh, set access level, let's say, I don't know, it's zero. Now, if I do a var dump of admin group, let's see what happens. I'm going to view the source so it's a little more visible. So we can see that we have an object here called group, and it has a property called users, and inside of it we have an object which is the user John Lebensold. And then we have a name, and that's administrators, with an access level of int zero. So if I created let's just rename this for a second let's call this actually we're gonna create a constructor here so this is a little easier to write so I'm gonna create a constructor for user where I'll be able to put in John Lebensold and Eiffel Tower and I'll just change this to John and go back to the user here create a public function using construct F name last name and address and here you know we don't need to actually work with the dynamic variable assignment stuff we can just say this first name equals F name this last name equals L name and this address equals address. So we're just mapping whatever we get in our constructor to the properties in our in our class here. So now I've, I've taken this and I've got this variable and I've just called him John. And let's say we have another user and her name is Emily. And I'm going to say new models user Emily and I don't know let's say her last name is Smith and she lives in Seattle. I don't know. Then I could pass in John and Emily, which are instances of the user model, as users of the admin group. So instead of just passing in user here, I could actually pass in an array with John and Emily. And if I view the source, you can see that that array is now being set in our groups object. So you could imagine that actually writing this code would be quite extensive if it weren't for the dynamic assignment of variables. And if you're coming from Java or C++ or any kind of statically typed language, you'll, you could imagine that this would actually be quite complicated to write. Not necessarily complicated, but you'd be writing a lot of boilerplate code, which you don't have to do in PHP. So that's kind of neat. So 
now that we've looked at abstract classes and doing uh, dynamic assignment, in the next video we're going to be covering how we can apply this to a controller and building our first controller. Thanks for listening.